Where are we traveling tonight? Hey guys, so we finally made it to the gate. I haven't really processed that we're actually going to New Zealand, so that's, I'm so excited right now and I can't wait. I honestly, I honestly don't know what's in store for us. Like, I don't know the plans, I don't know where we're going, but it's gonna be great um, to see like family and to hang out with my cousins. I really miss them, they're like my little baby sisters. So, can't wait to see them. Hello, Hi. how are you today? Good, how are you? I'll be just, so yeah, like same one. Budget. Thank okay. you. Okay, so um, we just now have time to really like sit down and catch a breath but basically because our flight was delayed from LA we missed our connection flight to Auckland and um, so our connection flight from Brisbane was only supposed to be like we were only supposed to be here for an hour so we didn't have a visa or anything to go into Australia and then up in the air there is like two conflicting messages. One, one of the flight attendant was like, you have to go straight to international play, um, instruction connecting flights. And then the other one was like, you have to go out and get your bags and clear customs and immigration. And then so when we were walking past by the international connections, they were like, oh, you missed your flight. So you have to go, um, you have to go out and get your bags and get custom and immigration and everything. So we went there, they were like, um, you guys don't have visas, so you can't really enter and get your bags. And then it turns out there is a whole bunch of us like from that from the same flight that missed the their connection. Some of them were connecting to like Sydney, some of them were going to Christchurch, some of them but basically our their all of our main destination was just anywhere in New Zealand. And so we were just, it was just this whole chaos and like the border control people were like this should be the airline's like responsibility, like you have to wait until the airline comes here and like a representative comes and then like they'll just tell you what to do. And so in the meantime we're just waiting at immigration, like watching our bags, going around the carousel and then um, finally the patrol officer was like, you know what, I'll just let you guys in for now so you can claim your bags but stay together as a group and so we did that. Um, we got we got through, we got our bags and they put us all like in a corner. Basically like they quarantined us, like put us all in a corner. And then, um, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it was kind of cool to see how like how they how we all just came together it was kind of like I feel like I don't know this must be silly but I feel like like I have restored my faith in humanity because like we were, while we were there like waiting in the corner with all our bags everyone was just there like trying to make a good time out of this you know like chaotic time and just like throwing out jokes here and there but at the same time like hey do you guys need food like are you, we were sharing like everything we were sharing food we were sharing drinks like sharing um like whatever we needed like like toiletry things that we needed like everyone went around using like dry shampoo we just like got, came together and basically we just helped each other out just to like freshen up and stuff because we all came out of like a pretty long flight it was 14 hours from LAX to Brisbane 
yeah and then after that like we we're this whole time we we're in the corner they're like we have to wait until the representative come and so uh, Fuentes representative came but then she just like walked past us and we we're like okay so I guess no one's coming and um, so finally they granted us all um, transit visas so I, I heard, I think we got like three days or something to transit here and to like actually get, get out. So then we went through and the customs was like super fast and we had to go to like the transfer desk for domestic flights. And then even that was an ordeal because at first um, we were gonna get um, from Sydney and then Sydney to Auckland. But then when we came up to the counter, they were like, you're not gonna make the Sydney flight. Like it's gonna be super tight, blah, blah, blah. And then so they were just calling everyone and then finally they just put us back on to the um, later flight straight to Auckland from Brisbane. Because um, that was actually the flight that, so they went around during the flight um, to Brisbane to each one of us and told us like this is gonna be your next flight. Your next flight is gonna be our next one is like 5.15 and we're gonna straight to Auckland and we're gonna get there by like 12 something so it's gonna be really late um, but then I think they were trying to put us on like an earlier flight just because like we've been through a lot and then it turns out that it's too tight and then so yeah basically we're on that 5.15 flight to Auckland and so we thought like oh we can just travel you know and just look around Brisbane because we have visas anyways so that'll be cool but then um yeah but then we were as we were about to put our bags in the locker because it's too early to check in like someone came running to us trying to find us in the airport and they're like oh they can check your bags in now you can check your bags in now so then we came up here and we can check our bags in and she was like well once you check your bags in you can't go out to the city you have to go straight to immigration and go go um wait for your flight and then so we have four hours now i guess despite everything that already happened and so it's probably not worth it to go out i kind of wish we could just see it but at least i step foot outside and breathe in some australian air i don't know hopefully one day in my life i would come back here and just like travel around australia and see what it's like but yeah that's what it is now and we're just gonna go through immigration and wait for a flight and hopefully i don't know hopefully there's gonna be a lot of food or something i don't know what's gonna happen with our vegetarian meals either because our vegetarian meals were confirmed but we missed that flight so i don't know we'll see what's gonna happen but yeah that's our little story so far <laughs> Going on to the next flight to Auckland. <laughs> going to Auckland. Finally. Finally made it to Auckland. Um, we got some travel books. Super tourist right now, but so psyched that we're finally here. It's like. 11.30 or something like that at night, so yeah.